Hi everyone and welcome to this video on sheet metal fabrication methods. Sheet metal is a very versatile material and it is used in countless applications from appliances and electronics to buildings and vehicle that you are currently driving in. In this video, we will explain all the various methods that are used to transform a flat sheet of metal into a useful three-dimensional shapes that you see in day-to-day -day life. So the reason sheet metal is used so widely in the industry is it is very easy to form or cut it into different shapes and then join it together to get the desired shape. So let's start with number one, which is a cutting techniques. So there are several methods for achieving clean and precise cuts using sheet metal. Now, number one would be laser cutting. This is a very popular choice because of its speed, accuracy, and ability to handle really complex shapes because it uses a focused laser beam to melt down and vaporize a small layer of metal along the cutting path. Cutting method number two is plasma cutting. This method it utilizes a superheated plasma torch to cut through metal and it is faster than laser cutting and it can also go for quite thicker material but it may not offer the same level of precision as laser cutting. Cutting method number three is water jet cutting. This process uses a very high pressure stream of water mixed with abrasive, which is a sand-like particles, to cut through the sheet metal. It's a very good option to cut various different metals or various different materials, including sheet, metal, plastic, stones, composite, wood, and many other materials. You name it, you can cut it through water jet. So once we cut the metal, uh, the second method that is widely used is the forming method because it is very easy to bend and form the shape to, to the required shape so we can easily weld it or get a desired shape. So forming techniques. Once the metal is cut, it can be shaped using various forming techniques. For example, the most common bending technique is bending. This is the most fundamental forming process where the sheet metal is folded along the straight line using press brick or a manual bender. Bend can be created in different angles and shapes using a different punch and different tools. So after bending, uh, there's another method which is widely used is called rolling. So in rolling, sheet metal can be pressed between two rollers, two set of rollers, and the sheet metal is pressed between those two with a different pressure and it creates a curve and reduces the thickness relatively throughout the body. Now the next process is called deep drawing. Now deep drawing is a process where we use punch and die to draw a metal into a desired shape using a continuous forming method. Third important method is joining techniques. So there are various methods to get the desired shape and join them together to see what we are looking at in today to day life. For example, uh, the most common method that is used for joining is using welding techniques. This process uses heat to melt down the metal at the joint, creating a strong permanent bond between the two layers of the metal. There are various different techniques for welding which exist in this world right now. For example, TIG and MIG welding suitable for various different material and different applications. Joining method number two would be rivets. So this is a mechanical fastening method where we use rivets uh, to connect two parts or two layer of the pieces to hold it together. And it is a very faster and simpler alternative yeah. than the welding. It does provide a non-permanent joint. It is a really important one to know which ones to use when. So when you are designing or when you are in the sheet metal industry, it is very important for you to choose the right method and selection of the most suitable fabrication methods depending on several factors including what material it is, what kind of thickness you are using, what is the grade of metal and the complexity that you require for shape. So in conclusion, the sheet metal fabrication offers a broad range of techniques for creating fast and very much variety of metal parts. By understanding all these different methods and techniques and joining methods, you can actually choose the best approach for your specific projects. To give you an example, uh, sometimes designer make the object using two different sheet metal thicknesses where actually getting a same thickness helps down cutting down the cost of the metal because 
a different material requires a different set of time and different set of toolings. So this kind of considerations go plays a long part when you are going to do a mass manufacturing of the object. Thanks for watching guys. I hope this video provide you a very helpful introduction to a sheet metal. Remember this is just an introduction to different sheet metal techniques that we are using in day to day life and which are most commonly used in sheet metal workshops. If you have liked this video and if you are watching this video so far, please check out my other videos and please like, share and subscribe so you can gain, so you can get more informative videos like this.